If you've been living under a rock for about, what, the last week, this has been one of the hot discussions in gaming and TV series as recently. Because Paramount Plus, Showtime, whatever you want to call it, even that's if Showtime's even around anymore now that I really think about it, has officially canceled Halo after two seasons. And I kind of... I kind of saw this coming only because how much the advertisements were out there for season one and then season two just kind of appeared. There was no, like I was, I think the season was like halfway through before I even saw an ad that Halo came back for a second season. Um, Let's get into it. Let's talk a little bit about this before we jump into an article and then we'll take a look at the rumor mill, which I will say is a rumor, massive rumor. I've seen it everywhere, but it's a massive rumor. So let's get into it. (coughs) First things first. This was a reaction right after season one wrapped, right? And it took me a little bit to find this. (coughs) Excuse me. This guy was talking about the Halo, the first season of Halo. That's my issue. It's not Halo to me. There's some things to add, but then there's things that are too much and take the brand and strays it away from the heart of the genre slash the game. (coughs) Mind you, Marcus here, the guy that commented on this, this homie right here, is a co-creator of Halo. He responded with, yeah, I'm not sure where the inspiration for the show came from. Not the Halo I made. Right? And then, of course, Pablo Schreiber a.k.a. Master Chief, res- like, responded, I believe this was right after... No, this was, uh, yeah, this was after the first season, beginning of the second season. If you don't agree with the helmet coming off in this show, you don't like our show. I mean, it's, it's Halo. One of the mystiques of Halo is the fact that it's not hard to be Master Chief. It's not. You, you... You're stoic. You're you're you you keep the armor on. You you go out. You do badass stuff, and you you just you're a soldier. You you are a warrior. You are a Spartan. You're not <laughs> supposed to be. You know, I'm trying to think of like uh, action hero that's like char- charism- charismatic. I guess you could say, but that's not Master Chief. He is meant to stay in that his Molnir armor and go out in war. And on top of that, like I, I just, I love the end of halo three where he's, he's on the ship and he goes into the cryostasis pod and tells, you know, Cortana, wake me up when you need me. That that's master chief like that period. End of story. Like you, you're, you're, if you're trying to take the helmet off to add more depth to the character, you don't need it. Because he does it enough through the armor. And then here we go. This right here is the article. Halo. Oh, God. Halo canceled at Paramount Plus after two seasons. This is from the True. I mean, the Hollywood Reporter. The show's producers will look for a new home for the adaptation of the video game franchise. Sorry, I haven't finished my first cup of coffee yet. Uh, Master Chief. What? It won't let me highlight. Anyways, Master Chief has fought his last battle at Paramount Plus, which, from what I was reading, was one of the main sticking factors as to why Sony didn't really pursue to try to, like, acquire Paramount because there was a bunch of red tape trying to get through, um, like, not just with, you know, Halo with Master Chief, but they got Sonic, all these other ones. Anyways... The streamer, I mean, the streamer has canceled its video game adaptation of Halo after two seasons. The series is based on the Xbox franchise and starred Pablo Schreiber as Master Chief John 117, finishing its second season in March. We are extremely proud of this ambitious series and would like to thank our partners at Xbox 343 Industries. There it is. That's the problem. 343 was involved with this series. That's why it was so bad. I'm kidding. But 343 is, like, I didn't care for 4, I didn't care for 5, and I didn't even play Infinite yet. I downloaded it, expect to see it on stream soon. 
Um, along with the showrunners and executive producers, uh, Dave Wiener, <laughs> his fellow executive producers, the entire cast led by Pablo Schreiber as Master Chief, and the amazing crew for all of our outstanding work, um, Paramount Plus said in a statement, we wish everybody the best going forward. Sources say the show's producer, uh, Amblin, Xbox, and 343 will look to land the series at another outlet for a third uh, season. Paramount Plus is said to be supportive of a possible move. Okay. Here's an idea. Just scrap the first two seasons. Start over. Get somebody in there that knows the lore. And it doesn't even have to focus on Master Chief. It doesn't. There, the universe of Halo has so many different options of stories that you can go with that you don't need to have John 117. You can do it all, like, completely different story on a completely different Spartan, yada, yada, yada. And, like, John could show up, make an appearance, and then bounce out. And you know what? Have the voice actor or Master Chief do the voice because he ain't going to take off his damn armor. Anyways... We deeply appreciate the millions of fans who propelled the Halo series to a global success and we remain committed to broadening the Halo universe in different ways in the future, reads a statement from 343 Industries. We're grateful for Amblin and, Paramount, uh, Amblin and Paramount for their partnership and bringing our expansive sci-fi universe to viewers around the world. Halo took a long path to Paramount+. Plus. Yeah, because I believe... Like, there's been so many big names attached to it. Like, I think Peter Jackson was attached to it at one time. Steven Spielberg was attached to it at one time. And mind you, they've been trying to get a series out since, like, the early 2010s. And it just finally hit, I believe, 2021. Um, after years and multiple efforts at, development, uh, at developing a feature film based on the game, Work on a series began at Showtime in 2014, like I said, a long time, with a formal series ordering, uh, order coming in 2018. So why... that? I'm not sure how... I, I don't know all the ins and outs, but I don't understand why they began working on it in 2014, but they weren't like, you know what, we're in, let's do it. It took four years for that. The series was then moved to Paramount Plus in 2021. Like I said, I think Paramount Plus kind of absorbed Showtime. I don't even know if Showtime's around anymore. A year before it debuted, the series also underwent several behind-the-scenes changes, including the development of its original de departure from its original director and showrunner changes. Uh, David Wiener took the reins for season two after Kyle Killen and Stephen Kane shepherded the first season. Which, David Wiener, you did an amazing job on season two because season one was bad. Uh, per usual, per usual the, with most streaming services, viewers figured the Halo series uh, and for Halo are hard to come by. Um, the show spent five weeks in uh, Nelson's ranking of the top ten original streaming ser uh, series as a season two streamed in February and March, collective, uh, collecting about $1.8 billion minutes of view time in the United States over those weeks. That is a long time. I didn't realize it, it had done that much. Like I said, I did not actually see promotions or anything for this until the series was like halfway through. Like season season two is halfway through, which is crazy to me. But this right here is the potential fake news, which kind of hurts my heart to hear that it's potentially fake but, of course, this is on Reddit. I've been seeing it all over Twitter. I've seen it all, like, all kinds of stuff. Was that Christopher Nolan has, quote-unquote, supposedly, like I said, take this with a grain of salt. This could potentially be completely fake. It could potentially be real. I know there's people down here It's like, your comment has been removed for the following reason. Hashtag fake news. But <clears throat> there has been rumored i saw some people talking about it on twitter and like i said talking about it on reddit i think this would be an amazing thing to do christopher nolan taking the helm at the halo series and originally i had heard that hbo was interested in it and some of them but i guess um netflix might be swooping in which would make sense i'm only saying it makes sense because netflix is making gears of war I'm just saying, 
Netflix is right now in the process of making Gears of War. They're already in bed with Microsoft, so it would only make sense to have Netflix take the reins over probably the largest, because Gears of War, I'd say, is probably the second largest uh, IP when it comes to Microsoft, but have Netflix take over the reins of the largest franchise for Microsoft Gaming, Xbox, whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't think, I think Apple would be a good fit too. Cause Apple, Apple does pretty good on series. I don't know if you guys watch any Apple original series. They're pretty good. Disney. I don't, I don't, mm -mm. Amazon potentially. So I think in, in terms of places, I would like to see Halo potentially go for a third season or just completely scrap it, start a new it would be Netflix, Max, Apple, Amazon, Disney. Disney would be at the bottom of the barrel. I don't know why anybody would want it on Disney, but that's just my opinion. Let's go full screen. All right, you guys. So let me know what you think about the Halo TV series down in the comment section, because genuinely, I want to hear y'all's opinion, because I've already voiced my opinion. The first season was dog shit. We're just going to throw that out there. It was dog water. The second season kind of was getting back on track. They were finding their footing and potentially could have had a really, really great third season considering that the original showrunners for the first season departed. They brought in David Wiener. I only remember his name because it has Wiener in it. And it started to get back on trail, get back on track, and it started to be pretty decent. Now, I'm not saying it was great. I'm just saying it was decent. Anyways, you guys, don't forget to mash that like button, subscribe. We're on our way to 8,000. I can't do this stuff without you guys because you guys are awesome. I want to hear what's your thoughts on, on, on the Halo stuff. I'm genuinely interested. Anyways, y'all take it easy. I'll catch you later.